What's up guys, Matt from formboots.co.uk and today we're going to be doing a video that a lot of you guys have been asking for and that is how to wear your football socks like a professional footballer. Now I've got all my equipment, all my socks, shin pads, bits and bobs like tape all lined up ready to go and you guys get to decide which is the best technique to wear your socks like a pro because at the end of the video there'll be a poll card so you guys get to choose which one is the best. So let's get straight into technique one. So for a lot of you guys that watch professional football on TV, I can almost guarantee that you would have seen or know about true socks. Now I've got a pair of true socks on my feet and the difference between these and a normal pair of football socks or mat socks is that they actually come with grippy pods on the bottom and also on the back. Now all they do is literally add some grip inside the football boot which is going to help lock down which helps responsiveness. So that's what they do. A lot of footballers do wear them. Gareth Bale is probably the biggest player to actually wear true socks. So we're going to show you a tutorial number one technique of how to wear your football socks, your true socks, like a pro. So of course the first thing you need to do is have your true socks on feet but one thing to bear in mind is that they have to be the same colour as your football socks, that's one of the FIFA rules. Your sock has to be the same colour the entire way down. So if you wore orange socks then you can get yourself a pair of orange true socks, they come in all different colours so just make sure that they're the right one. Now once you've got the sock in hand, all you need to do is find a place to actually cut the sock because you're going to put it on top of the true sock and then tape it together. Now what I like to do is cut just where the ankle part comes up. So just get your scissors, simple as that. Find the place sometimes on the sock, like on this Adidas one, it just comes with a little bit more of an elasticated material and you can use that as your line to cut through. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Just cut through the sock, try and be as neat as you can, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because you're gonna be taping it over the top anyway. Just make sure it's gonna be long enough. So now once you've got this, we've got your true sock on feet. We've now got your cut Adidas sock. Now what you want to do is actually put your shin pad into your true sock at the moment. All right, so I've got my left one here. So this is my left one. Just a normal pair of Nike shin pads. And you're going to slip it slightly into the true sock. So that's the first key. Don't put it all the way down. Just slide it about a quarter of the way in. So that's all sorted. And now with your Adidas sock, you go over the top of the true sock and also over the top of the shin pad. Now it might feel a little bit tight, which is a good thing because you want it to be compressive. And then once you've got it at the height you want, I'm going to go for about there. Fold over the top as you would. So you want it to be overlapping with that true sock. We've got the true sock underneath and then this Adidas mat sock just on top. We put it a little bit higher. And the next step is you need tape. Now if you didn't have tape at this point, the sock over the top, the mat sock, might just come up and then it looks a bit silly and also not look proper match ready. So all you need to do now is get the tape wrap it round where it meets so you want it to be nice and clean don't go too tight with the tape because you don't want to cut off any circulation and you also want to go slightly over the shin pad itself just to keep it locked in place now there's no way that this shin pad inside your football sock is going to move around at all that's not going to happen the true sock on top is going to make sure it's going to stay stable and then that tape around the outside not only joins the true sock with the mat sock but also make sure that shin pad is very stable so it's not going to move around or slip out. So that was the instruction of how to do your true socks like a pro. On this other leg, I'm just going to do it in quick speed so you can see it in one process like I would in the dressing room. So all you need to do is get your shin pad, true sock on, slide it in about a quarter of the way through, get your Adidas sock, give it a cut. As I said, there's usually a line which you can see, which you can use as the guideline to cut through. Simple as that. You can chuck those pieces of the sock away. Slide it on top. Remember, it's going to be a little bit tight. Get it all the way on. Now we're at this point, fold over the top to make it look nice and sharp. You've got your tape. And all we're going to do, tape around the outside. And that is how to wear your socks with the true socks like Gareth Bale. So that was how to look like a pro in true socks, but our second technique is actually how Neymar wears his football socks. Now we took the true socks off, and Neymar actually prefers normal Nike socks. These ones are dry fit, very similar to what Neymar himself actually wears. Now there's a couple of slight differences. The first one is that he's actually wearing his shin pads slightly higher. So all you need to do is slide them in, but not as deep down this time. You need to keep them quite high up. So once your shin pads are now in place, again he cuts his socks, so similar to the true socks. So what you're going to do is use those same socks as before that you've just cut, slip those on on top, but as I said, it's all about keeping those shin pads nice and high because that's just how he prefers them. It's probably a little bit more fashionable, 
So that's exactly why it does it. So all we're gonna do this time is actually pull them up and keep the top of the sock right at the top. So we're not gonna fold them down. The top of the sock is now actually around the thigh. So we're gonna do that again on the other side. We've got our cut socks, these ones are Adidas, as I said. Slide them on on top. And of course, the big difference is that it's gonna be a little bit higher than before. And we're not actually gonna fold these top of the socks down. We're gonna keep them nice and high. And then at this point, once again, we're just gonna use our tape just to put the two socks together, wrap it all up, make sure they're in place, other side. And that is pretty much how Neymar wears his football socks. So the big difference is either the shin pads are a little bit higher, and then at the top of the socks, he doesn't fold them down, he just keeps them high, a little bit like Thierry Henry. So, so far guys, we've seen the true socks and also Neymar's trick. So what we're gonna do now is combine technique three and four, because they're a little bit unusual. The first one is gonna be Francesco Totti, and the second one is gonna be Jack Grealish. Now looking at Francesco Totti to start with, all he does is wear a normal pair of match socks, but he's one of the most remarkable players because he doesn't actually cover his shin pads with his socks. So all we need to do is just pull down the socks halfway, which feels quite tight and compressive around the calf. And all he does is just slip his shin pads halfway in, so he doesn't actually cover them on top. So that's pretty much exactly how Toddy wears his shin pad. He pulls them all the way to the top, his socks, his match socks, pulls them down halfway, bunches them around his calf muscle, and all he does is just slip his shin pads on top. Now that is pretty much exactly how Toddy does it. Really simple, it's very old school. You don't see many players doing this anymore. They do prefer them wearing them around the knee or around the thigh, just like we saw on the True Socks and on the Neymar. So that's the Francesco Toddy, bunching them out around the calf and then just sliding the shin pads at the top and then leaving them exposed a little bit. Now the one big difference between Toddy's and Jack Grealish is that Jack Grealish actually folds the sock inside of the shin pad. So we're gonna talk you through how to do that right now. So we've still got our socks looking like Toddy. Now we only need to do one thing to make them more like Jack Grealish. All you do is pull the sock back above the shin pad and then tuck it in underneath, which is something really remarkable. I think I've only seen Jack Grealish on the pro stage ever do this. So that's pretty much how he does it. The shin pad is inside the sock fully, and then he rolls that sock underneath it and tucks it in around. The shin pad for me might move a little bit too much, and I've actually seen Jack Grealish play, and by the end of the game, the shin pads are right down the bottom of the foot. So we're gonna do it in quick speed on this one. So we set it up like Totties. All we need to do is pull it up above that shin pad and then tuck it behind. It feels really, really tight, so it can be a little bit tough to do. But once you actually do do it, it feels very tight around the calf, similar to Toddy's, but then you can't actually see the shin pad at the top. And as I said, one problem with this one might be that the shin pads actually move around, but actually speaking to Jack Grealish and listening to him in interviews, he actually said this is just a tradition that he did as a kid and he wants to carry on. So that is the Francesco Toddy and the Jack Grealish. So guys, we've seen four techniques so far, so let's get into our final one, which is actually the technique that I use for my own matches. Now the first thing you need to do is go to a chemist and pick up something called tuba grips, which is pretty much like bandages, and all it is is a very elasticated material which actually acts as a sleeve for your shin pads to put in. I know some Nike and Adidas shin pads or maybe even Puma or other brands do come with sleeves, but for me, they aren't tight enough and the shin pad still moves around, and I can trust you that these tuba grips are so tight, your shin pad will not move for 90 minutes. So we're gonna show you exactly how to do this pro trick. So guys, the first thing that you need to do is wear your normal mat socks like I am. Roll them down all the way to the bottom of the foot, both sides, and this allows you to put the tuber grips on top. Now I've got a pair here, these ones are brand new. And all you need to do is put them over the sock. And then once we get into this position, it's just one length, but we need to fold it in half to create the sleeve for the shin pad. So all you need to do is just come up again to double it up. And then here we have our sleeve. Then all you need to do is get your shin pad and then slide it into that sleeve. And as I said, your shin pad will not move for 90 minutes. This is so tight, but it's not overly tight. It's not too constricting. It's the perfect fit. And also there's some footballers out there who just wear these tuba grips by themselves because it just helps support the calf muscle. Now, once we're in this situation, we've got the shin pad in the sleeve. All you need to do then is pull your sock nice and high up. And unlike Neymar, I actually like to fold my sock over the top. And that is pretty much it. Very simple, I've got my normal match sock, no true socks, no Nike dry fit socks, just the match socks that my team gave me. And all you need to do from that situation is get the tuber grip, add your shin pad, and you're away to go. So I do it in quick speed, I'll roll my match sock down, put the tuber grip on top, 
fold it again in half to create the sleeve. That's not gonna go anywhere. Shin pad, same again. That's not gonna go anywhere. It's in there nice and tight. Pull the socks over the top and then fold it over. And that is my own personal way to wear your mat socks. So guys, there it is, the five ways to wear your socks like a pro footballer. But as I said in the intro, you guys get to choose which is the best version. I hope you choose mine by voting the poll card now. Let us know in the comment section below how you wear your socks for matches. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.